I define myself as an intuitive artist, but lately I was thinking, is intuitive art and abstract art same kind of art? Let's find out. Imagine yourself drawing or painting with your eyes closed, letting your feelings guide every brush stroke, every line. That's intuitive art in a nutshell. It's nothing about the end result or developing techniques or creating a commercial piece, but all about the process and how you feel while creating it. And it often looks like a three years old has just discovered crayons, but hey, that's where the magic lies. As Pablo Picasso once said, it took me four years to paint like Raphael, but a lifetime to paint like a child. So what makes a piece of art intuitive? Creating intuitive art is like embarking on a journey without a map. You begin with a blank canvas, not just literally, but mentally too. There is no plan, no sketch, just you and a whirlwind of your emotions and thoughts. This form of artistry is pure, raw and spontaneous. You make your first mark guided solely by instinct and from there you react and build upon it using whatever materials feel right. Be it paint, pencils, markers or crayons or even spatulas or sponge. This process often turns out deeply layered and often combining various mediums and tools to create something truly unique. With intuitive art, you can step away from the standard color meaning. We associate colors with specific emotions like Red might symbolize passion or energy perceived by many as intense or even aggressive color. Yet for you, red might evoke the warmth and comfort of childhood memory. Similarly, with blues and greens typically suggest tranquility. To others, these hues might resemble depths of dark sea waters, a storm that tears your boat apart. Intuitive art thrives on this personal interpretation, allowing for a spectrum of meanings that diverge from common associations. Everything is entirely personal and can mean different things to different people. So don't limit yourself to certain tools or colors. Use anything you like. It might bring you unexpected results. Unlock the voice of your intuition. It's all about letting go of conceived notions and definitions of what art should be. For example, Henry Matisse was drawing with scissors. He used paper cuts out that allowed him to expand the shapes and forms of his paintings into three-dimensional space. This innovative technique broke away from traditional painting. Using simple cuts to create profound visual impact, embodying simplicity and creativity. Matisse's approach teaches us that art isn't just about following established rules. It's about expressing joy and life in its purest form. Whether you are inspired to use scissors as Matisse did, or find a completely new medium to express yourself, the key is to be open to the unexpected. By doing so, you not only discover new realms of creativity, but also reveal the deepest layers of your personal narrative through art. Intuitive art is a new trend that's catching on fast, and that's why right now it's not easy to pinpoint some famous intuitive artist, but I'd like to mention Flora Bowley, whose book, Brave Intuitive Painting, I've read recently. She didn't invent intuitive art, but she's definitely helping it shine. She writes books, blogs, and teaches courses that make intuitive art more accessible to everyone. There are loads of talented artists in this space. Some might not even call what they do intuitive art, but it doesn't really matter. Intuitive art isn't confined to the act of painting or drawing alone. It's a broader, more inclusive approach to creativity that values the process over the product. And 
personal meaning over universal symbols. It encourages artists to explore, experiment and express in the most authentic way possible, making every creation a true reflection of the self. What's great about it is how everyone from beginners to pros shares and learns from each other, making the whole scene richer. You might be asking, isn't that what abstract art is with all those odd shapes and colors? And you are spot on. Yes, it totally is. Intuitive art is also called intuitive abstract art. Abstract art steps away from showing things exactly how they are choosing instead to use shapes, lines and bursts of colors to share feelings and ideas in a unique, indirect way. It's like speaking a different language, without words, one that lets color and forms do all the talking. The essence of abstract art is to explore the concept of art itself, moving beyond traditional representation of physical objects and landscapes to express feelings, emotions and the artist's inner world through visual means. The origins of abstract art can be traced back to the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Abstract art as a distinct movement began to emerge around the 1910s several artists and movements contributed to its development, each pushing the boundaries of traditional art in different ways. For example, Vasily Kadinsky, one of the pioneers of abstract art, used bold colors and fluid forms to evoke emotions, making his work a key example of how abstract art can make us feel something deep without showing us a clear picture. Georgia O'Keeffe's paintings zoom in on natural forms like flowers, presenting them in a way that boasts familiar and otherworldly. Jackson Pollock went in a completely different direction, throwing and dripping paint onto his canvases in a way that captures energy and movement directly. Agnes Martin's work is known for its quiet, repetitive lines and grids that invite calm and reflection. Meanwhile, Mark Rothko's large canvases filled with soft, glowing colors pulls us into a space of deep emotion and contemplation. Each of these artists, in their own unique way, challenges us to see beyond surface and to connect with art on a more personal, emotional level. As the intuitive art movement grows, it builds on the foundation that abstract art has laid down, encouraging us to let our feelings and instincts guide our creative journey. Abstract art has been around for quite a while, making us pretty used to its way of bending reality. But when we talk about intuitive art, we are mentioning something that's gotten popular more recently. Even though it feels a lot like abstract art because of its freedom and creativity, intuitive art has its own flavor. It's all about letting the moment and your feelings guide what you create, without worrying too much about planning or the end result. Right now, we are in the exciting times of the intuitive art movement. This movement is shining a light on the importance of the process, the actual act of making art, and how an artist feels during that process. It's a fresh way to look at creativity, adding a personal touch that makes intuitive art a special body of the well-known world of abstract art. What really sets them apart? Now that we've looked at it, intuitive art feels like it's part of the big family of abstract art. It's kind of sheltered under the broad umbrella of abstract expression. The main thing that separates intuitive art from abstract art is where they begin. Abstract art kicks off with a goal to dive into certain ideas or feelings, 
using a style that steps away from the real world. It's more about the idea behind the art and how people looking at it will understand it. On the other hand, intuitive art is more about the artist's own roller coaster of emotions. It's all about letting the process of making the art take the lead. While both kinds of art really dig into emotions and personal expression, intuitive art is more about the artist's own adventure and letting things flow naturally. Abstract art, though, is about challenging old-school ways of showing things to open up new spaces for different shapes and deeper meanings. Intuitive art is like a journey into yourself. It's unpredictable, without a set plan or idea, and really zeroes in on the making of the art. Abstract art looks more at the big picture. Thinking about broader concepts, it often involves some planning, trying to send a message or communicate something that goes beyond what you see. But hey, the lines between them can blur. There is a bit of abstract in the intuitive and vice versa. And let's not box ourselves in. All art forms have a touch of intuition. Whether you are into realism, abstract or anything in between, there is always that spark of intuition playing its part, weaving through the creative process. Even if we are not fully aware of it. Every portrait that is painted with feelings is a portrait of the artist, not the sitter, Oscar Wilde. Thank you for joining me today. Please like if you enjoyed the video and found it inspiring to create. Subscribe for more.